All right, section 16.2, we are going to finish off talking about heat. And when we talk about heat, we're going to talk about thermodynamics. Thermo obviously meaning heat. Dynamics is going to be how heat works. So let's review here. What are the three ways heat can move? You should have learned this probably in like fifth or sixth grade. There's going to be what are the three ways in which heat can move? Well, let's look here. First one is conduction, and that is direct, and that is in direct contact with one another. So conduction is when energy is transferred through collisions such as insulators and conductors. So conduction, I put a pan on a, on a stove top, the pan gets hot, that's conduction. Right. Uh, I put my hand into a uh, tub that is full of hot water. That is conduction. I am directly feeling that. All right, so conduction is direct contact. That's number one. Number two is convection, and that is when particles of a fluid move from one place to another. So convection, such as in your oven, right? The air is moving in your oven from cold to warm air. All right? It's a convection oven. It creates kind of a circle. Warm air always rises. Cold air always sinks. So in your oven, what's happening is you kind of have a convection cycle where the warm air goes to the top, then it replaces the cold air on the bottom, and it kind of continues to do that convection. This is also like kind of how uh, the earth gets heated is through the movement of air, air, uh, air on earth is convection. Warm air or cold air, how you feel on Earth, is moved through convection. All right, and lastly, you have radiation, which is the transfer of waves through space. So where do we get that heat? Uh, on Earth, we get it through the sun. That heat from the sun is transferred through radiation. Right. Convection, too, going back to convection, that might be like a hair dryer. Right, you're moving air through convection. You're moving hot air from one spot to another. Uh, radiation, right, the transfer of waves through space. Also, uh, if you had like a space, a space heater in your garage, that would probably be more convection than radiation. Radiation would be the sun. So what are the three ways in which heat can move? Conduction, convection, and radiation. Lastly, we need to talk about the laws of thermodynamics. And you're like, what? The laws of thermodynamics? You're like, yeah, the laws of thermodynamics. It sounds hard, but we're going to simplify the laws of thermodynamics for you here real, real quickly. So thermodynamics is the study of thermal energy and other forms of energy. There are three laws of thermodynamics. We're not going to go into great details, but I wanted to expose them to you. The rule or law, number one, energy is always conserved. Does this sound familiar? We've had the law of conservation of mass, the law of conservation of momentum, uh, the law of conservation of energy now is the third one. Energy is always conserved. What does that mean? That means energy is never created nor destroyed, only changed. So energy is only created or sorry, energy is never created nor destroyed, it's only changed. Rule number one, or law number one. Law number two of thermodynamics is energy flows from cold objects to warm objects. Have you ever felt a warm draft? No, that's because the cold air is moving to take over the warm air. So think about that. A refrigerator applies this concept as well. So cold objects to warm objects. That's the second law of thermodynamics. And the third law of thermodynamics is very simple. Absolute zero cannot be reached. Particles can never come to a complete stop in motion. Therefore, we cannot reach absolute zero. We can get close, but we can't get to absolute zero. So three laws of thermodynamics. Law number one, energy is always conserved. Law number two, energy flows from cold objects to warm objects. And law number three, absolute zero can never be reached. Those are your three laws of thermodynamics. And this is going to conclude section 16.2. This is Mr. Clement, and I'm signing off.